Test drive! That feels right. 60, a corrected speed though. Hi folks, welcome back. I have to do the introductions now on my knees since the Pilgrim is not up on the lift anymore. And I can't be bothered to put it back up. In today's episode, we'll be covering the entire front suspension refresh. No way! Ooh, that's very interesting, Ooh, yeah. It will be a little bit longer, but I think it will be worth watching. So stick around. Dad's first job is to remove the front wheels to get access to the tie bars, nuts and bolts. And out it comes. And the first poly bushes are fitted to it. But the tie bar will be fitted later. After that, the top and bottom suspension arm bolts and nuts are loosened. Dad then uses the spring compressor tool provided by Pilgrim. Yeah, that's the trouble, that's where they end up. Put the uh, motorcraft boxes in that is there. My suggestion was to... Um, you could remove the bottom hole, couldn't you? And then release the... the take this completely Yeah, I know, out, but I... I and I'm, then draw... It's under tension, see? Yeah, but is uh, the, the base at the bottom the or at the top? The problem is the spring, I cannot... Do the spring compressor as it should be because of the, the wheel arch. It's cracking it now. This is actually holding the, the stopping the spring from uh, releasing. But I probably should take this track rod end off. We haven't off. even got the right one on. Oh, sorry, we have the top one, but we haven't got the bottom. Yeah. The bottom one's more like a, a just to keep it in position. Allocating. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, it's just, yeah, just to stop it rattling around from side to side. But. Since we couldn't compress the spring, we had to do a few modifications. I don't know whether you can see on that picture of his, if, if uh, you know, the tension is really, really... It is quite compressed. Yeah. How much does it need to be compressed? Well, really, what you want to be doing is try and get it le level. Then Dad removes the ball joints with the ball joint remover. Right, that's out. So this, that one there, I could replace that and that now. It's this bottom one that's my problem, but how much is that um, under tension? Oh, this is actually... Don't tell me it's coming out. But I just don't know how much more of this I can tighten up. I have to take this bottom, bottom one out as well as a... Well, can you believe that's been a bit... I wonder if that track rod ends knackered. We'll just have a look at that before we... This is really got bent like you don't know what. It just, the bolt's not wanting to come out. I bet there's a bit of ruddy rust in it. Shouldn't be though. There's never a straightforward job, is there? And that was the old polyurethane bush. Yay, it's out! 
still with the molly bundam. Should come out, but it's bloody well not coming out. <sighs> and there's nothing wrong with these bushes. So I'll get, get them out and uh, so what I'll do is bring it over here. And start putting the new ball joint and the new bushes. And that's one bush out. Then the second one. Then the ball joint is unbolted from the arm. And now for some TLC, starting with the sanding off of the suspension arm, then a wee dab of Q-Rust, then a few coats of paint on the ball joint, and the suspension arm. And while they're drying, the last part of the suspension is finally removed. Then the next ball joint is unbolted. And another bush is removed. And another ton of TLC. While the Curos dries on the lower suspension arm and spring, Dad starts fitting the new ball joint to the upper suspension arm. Then the poly bushes. Then a nice spray of paint on the suspension arm and the spring. Then everything is put back together, bit by bit. I don't know where it is. Well, the... I don't know how far it's gone through. It hasn't reached the other side yet. Yeah, I know it hasn't. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Let me align it, let me align the, 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 the other side, because it's not... Uh, It is going through, but well, something fell off. That it's through. It's through. Well, oh, I need this rope off, don't I? And that's the top arm on. A rubber cap to cover the new access hole for the spring compressor tool. Dad then fits the final bushes for the bottom suspension arm. And then a little dab of copper grease on the new ball joint to prevent corrosion between the two metals. Dad can finally now assemble the rest of the suspension back onto the car.
The last piece of the puzzle is put back on and the spring compressor is removed. Oops, I forgot the shock absorber. Dad then leaves a stripe of white to check that everything has been bolted. Now it's time to talk up all the bits and bobs. And to just quickly show the other side was all done as well. And the last bushes to be removed are from the steering rack. And done. We're nearly there, just to torque up the wheels and to center the steering wheel. And before we get the car tracked, the last job is to put new brake pipes. They match the old ones. They were sent from Poland but made in Denmark. Hmm, the position of the brake pipe needs adjusting. Just a little twist here. Ah, much better. Off we go to the tyre shop! All four tyres were balanced. Then the tracking was done on the super duper machine. Yeah! In fact, Dad's homemade tracking procedure, as seen in episode 4, was pretty damn accurate. Very little adjustment was required. Uh, 
And that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know it was a long one. Forgive me. But I hope you stay tuned for the next one. Thank you so much for watching. See you very soon. Bye.